The first private university in Nigeria was established in May 1999, and now the country has about 99 privately owned universities. No doubt, the universities have contributed immensely to the development of higher education in the country. But available data shows that in 2020-2021 academic session, the universities add about 5% of the total enrollment in the Nigerian university system, and this is far from what was envisioned. Chief Olusegun Basanjo says the trend has to change. Universities owe it a duty to be at the vanguard of national development through the generation of ideas and provision of data that will influence national policy formulation and implementation. He calls for human capacity development, research capacity strengthening, strengthening creativity in funds generation and management, as well as curriculum implementation to improve the capacity of private universities. The refrain everywhere is inadequate funding. The concept of adequate funding is plastic, elusive, and stiff to attain. Yet, Effort. Efforts must be made to provide sufficient funds to deliver quality university education. Our country continues to be in dire need of men and women who are well groomed and prepared holistically to take on leadership in every sector of our economy. The graduates were encouraged to seek additional knowledge. Try and understand the new tools and technologies that hate the volatility of your area of specialization as you go out. No one will employ a normal graduate, even with a first class degree. You will need more than a first class degree to survive the new global challenge. A total of 1,021 graduates were awarded first degree at the convocation with Ufo Maukiti emerged as the best graduating student. A post Umar's honorary degree, Doctor of Science in Public Health, was conferred on late Dr. Stella Adadevo, who sacrificed her life to save other Nigerians from the deadly Ebola virus. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Iwo, Washington State.